afternoon, Robert Scribbler filming to the south and east from Jeanette's Pier at some one to three foot waves rolling in off the North Atlantic as we have gale force winds blowing from the south southwest. Um, sustained south southwest in the uh, winds in the range of about 25 to 28 miles per hour, and then some gale force gusts up to you know, upper 30s, uh, lower 40s, depending on your location. Um, right now, the swell is primarily coming in almost from the due south, and it's having to wrap around to hit the sandbars. But occasionally, some of those swells do, and you get some um, some interesting uh, some waves breaking. Um, there's the wave picture here showing uh, choppy conditions, but um, I would say that the character of the waves is not quite as choppy as some of the um, wave monitors may be indicating. Um, there's more waves to be had than the monitors indicate, although uh, certainly not ideal conditions, um, as you can see. Um, right here near the pier, though, there's a little section that keeps peeling off to the left, and um, when the sets come in, there's actually some uh, decent waves breaking in, um, in this section, so hopefully we'll catch some of that for you guys as we go through the local conditions provided by observations, uh, the wave monitors, and information from the Wave Watch 3 model as well as eyewitness reporting by yours truly. So right now, up here in Nags Head, we've got one to three foot waves and uh, we'll call this semi-choppy conditions. Uh, South-southeast swell coming in at 5.5 foot um, and um, this looks like about uh, seven seconds and that's of course having to wrap around to hit the sandbars. We have very strong south southwest winds blowing at 27 plus miles per hour with gale force gusts. Air temperatures around 60 degrees right now. Ocean water temperatures 46 degrees Fahrenheit. We had a high tide this morning between 9 and 10 a.m. Uh, low tide this afternoon between 3 and 4. We're just past low tide right about now here in Max Head. At Rodanthe, we got two to five foot waves and choppy conditions with a south southwest swell. I'm sorry, uh, with a southerly swell at 6.2 foot and seven seconds. Uh, south southwest winds blowing at 26 miles per hour with some gusts over 40. Air temperatures 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Ocean water temperatures 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And at Buxton right now, we have three to five foot waves and choppy conditions with a swell coming in out of the south at 7.2 foot and seven section seconds and then um south southwest winds blowing down at buxton at around 25 miles per hour gusts to above 40 miles per hour uh, air temperature 63 ocean water temperatures warming up slightly to 51 temperatures in the upper 40s um just last week so little bit of warming going on for the ocean water temperatures and uh, we are in the coldest period um, ocean water temperatures should bounce around but the air temperatures are going to start warming up um, a little bit as we get into early March here there we go we got a little uh, left peeling off here not looking too pretty but um, a little, little doable over there uh, kind of holding up in the section there and then uh, Another section here on the south side of the pier as well. Um, all right, and last of all at Frisco, we've got four to seven foot waves and choppy conditions with an onshore wind flow there. Okay, looking at the forecast, we've got gale force gusts from the south southwest today with one to six foot plus surf, depending on your location. Um, we've got uh, Waves larger to the south, smaller to the north, and uh, temperatures highs today in the low 60s. Um, ocean water warming slightly to the upper 40s and around 50. For tomorrow, winds shifting to the north with the passage of a front later this evening. Um, and winds uh, for tomorrow shifting from north northwest to north northeast throughout the day wind speeds blowing in the range of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wave heights for tomorrow between 
two and four feet, de depending on location, possibly some five footers. Um, cleaner to the south, choppier to the north, temperatures in the low 50s with clouds and sun. For Friday, uh, one to four foot and fair to choppy. Uh, winds 18, uh, eight to 15 miles per hour out of the east and temperatures in the mid 50s with cloudy conditions. With rain coming in on Saturday and more gentle winds blowing from the west at 7 to 12 miles per hour, we expect uh, clean to fair three to six foot conditions throughout most of the day on Saturday, um, particularly more to the north, uh, so clear to the north, choppier to the south, high temperatures near 60 and uh, clouds with that rain. And last of all, on, uh, let's see, that's uh, Saturday, last of all on Sunday, we've got two to five foot waves, fair to semi-choppy conditions, winds blowing out of the north-northeast at 9 to 15 miles per hour, cloudy conditions with temperatures in the mid 50s. All right, so thank you for joining me for this session of the OBX Wave Report. Uh, shout out to all my friends and all my surfer buds up and down the Outer Banks here. Much love to all of you. And if you guys do have the time, please spare a thought to the folks over at Mantio Furniture and Appliances. Um, they unfortunately suffered a major fire at their warehouse yesterday. A very bad three alarm fire over there. And um, so, uh, uh, mainstay of the other banks here, uh, um, kind of suffering through a bit of a crisis. Um, uh, shout out to them and uh, hope for a speedy return to normal. Um, and um, just a big blessing that uh, no one was hurt in this devastating three alarm, alarm, alarm fire that occurred over in Mans Harbor. All right, so thank you for joining me for this session of the OBX Wave Report. And um, as I'd like to ask you guys, um, please do everything you can to help support the defense of our coastlines from the impacts of climate change. Primary actions that we can take right now involve both the mass deployment of clean energy, wind, water, solar, and electric vehicles to replace the harmful fossil fuel burning that is fueling the climate crisis and the impacts to our coastlines, such as rising sea levels, more intense storms, ocean heat waves, and ocean acidification, as well as the necessary buildup of um, our coastal defenses um, by replenishing the beaches, uh, building up uh, defenses such as uh, jetties and um, uh, break wars possibly um, raising island heights uh, like occurred in Galveston um, to protect uh, families and communities both. Uh, we really do need to be looking both at the dealing with the, the crisis caused by fossil fuel burning and um, protecting our communities, uh, doing what we can to protect our communities. All right, so thank you for joining me once again. Hope you guys get out and get get some good get good waves this week. Um, it will be hit or miss, but um, if you stay alert, you're likely to find some good times for some good waves.